on YouTube is your boy Dan, aka Aja, bringing you the first ever mono ice egg lock. If you guys are super duper duper hyped on this playthrough and a brand new let's play, I need you guys to turn up on that like button down below to 2,000 likes. I'm raising the bar super high for this playthrough, and I know you guys could do it because the A Drive army always comes through, and you guys are awesome. So thank you guys for the continued support. And I hope you guys are really excited for this brand new playthrough because I am actually really, really excited for this. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I think it's gonna be really unique and something totally different. We're gonna see a lot of Pokemon that you otherwise wouldn't see, which is actually the primary reason why we're doing a mono ice egg lock is the fact that first of all, you guys voted for it on my Twitch stream that we do ice. Dark was actually the second type, so it's really close between ice and dark. Uh, but you guys voted for ice and you also, well, it, the thing about ice types is, in my opinion, most of the time, ice types are not until the end of a Pokemon game, right? You really don't find ice types until the end of the game. So typically when someone uses an ice type Pokemon, they, they throw it on their team and it's like their sixth party member or whatever, but they grab it pretty later late on. So unfortunately, you don't really ever get to use it throughout the whole playthrough. So we're going to be able to showcase some of these ice Pokemon throughout an entire playthrough of the game, and it should be a ton of fun. And I'm really excited for that. So I hope you guys are excited as well. Now, we do have a question of the day today as well, guys. What is your favorite ice type Pokemon? Before we get too far into everything else, feel free to pause really quick, or while I'm talking, you guys can leave a message in the comment section below with your favorite ice type Pokemon. What Pokemon do you want to see the most on this playthrough? Mine is probably Mamoswine, I would say. I really like the big woolly mammoth. The thing's a beast. It's got thick fat competitively. It's so good. It's one of the most competitively viable Pokemon in the game, in my opinion, especially in like League formats, Earthquake, Icicle Crash, all that stuff. Ice Shard for priority. It is it is so cool. It is so good. I'm a big fan of Mammoth Swine, and hopefully, if all things go well, we'll get to have a Mammoth Swine in our playthrough. We'll see what happens. But we have lots to talk about in this episode, guys. And the cool thing about this episode is, if all goes well, we should actually be able to jump right into things. And uh, actually, midway through this playthrough or episode, we're gonna have our Ice type Pokemon to start. And I'm gonna explain how you guys are gonna send me your eggs because I'm gonna be getting the eggs from you guys. So you do need to pay attention throughout this video because there's a couple different things you're gonna have to make note of. And I'm gonna be explaining how you go and send the eggs to me. Uh, I might as well talk about that a little bit now, but before I jump into that, we have a ton to talk about today, guys. So make sure you guys are ready to rock. Um, I'm not gonna be spending too much time or emphasis on the gameplay as of right now. Uh, this game's been out for a few years. I played through it a few times. I'm sure you guys have probably played through it as well. So at the key points, I'll definitely address the dialogue, all that good stuff. But for the time being, we're probably gonna skip through a lot of the initial dialogue and things like that and kind of jump right into things as best as we can. My focus for this playthrough is to some do something similar as to what I did on my last mono playthrough, which was the mono bug egg lock, which was a huge success. I really enjoyed it. I think you guys dug it too. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be picking a topic for each episode and discuss my thoughts on that topic throughout the entire episode, and, and that's what we're going to be doing. So I'll probably be taking, you know, topics over Twitter and things like that. So it should be a lot of fun. We'll get some really good topics, and we're going to focus a little bit less on the gameplay uh, and focus a little bit more on kind of the conversation and things like that, because I think that makes uh, Let's Play more interesting, right? I mean, anyone can just commentate and say, hey, you know what? Okay, Serana calls me over. I have to sit at this table now. I'm sitting at the table. I wonder what Tierno is going to say. He's going to let me pick my first person. Pokemon, I'm gonna pick the, you know, I want to talk about something that that means something to both of us or a topic that might be relevant to you or my opinions on something or whatever it's gonna be. So I'm really excited to do that because I think that style of let's play fits me way better than talking about the gameplay, which I've done for my last few let's plays, and I think it's just a lot more fun if I have like a direction of what I'm talking about for each episode. So um, I'm, I'm excited about that. I'm going to say my nickname's Dan and we're going to jump right into things here. So I'm sure you guys are curious how you're going to send the eggs to me. So I need you guys to listen up real close. So I'm going to be accepting only ice type Pokemon and you have to have Oras or X and Y to trade. Keep in mind, this is X and Y, so I don't believe you'll be able to trade with me um, if you have certain Pokemon in your party and stuff like that. So make sure if like if you go to trade with me, you don't have like Glalitite or something in your party. I don't know how that works, but just make sure when you go to trade with me, if I do pick your egg, that you have all legit stuff in your team that can trade with X and Y. So that way the game doesn't kick you out just to save time. Um, if you want to send an egg, it has to be an ice type Pokemon. I'm going to take a moment here to read off the Pokemon I'm going to be accepting, which should be pretty obvious, but there's a few extra ones in there that might surprise you a little bit. And I did take some opinions on Twitter and things like that to kind of get an idea of what Pokemon you guys find acceptable in terms of mono ice and whatever else and, and what we can kind of fit in. Because unfortunately, there's only about 18 or 19 Pokemon that you can kind of go with. 
So in terms of base level Pokemon, so there will be some duplicates. I'm not be don't be surprised if at some point we have two of the same Pokemon on our team or whatever it's going to be. But we'll do our best to make them as different as possible from their move sets or at least whatever they do. And um, this is a Nuzlocke challenge as well. I don't think I mentioned that before, but we're going to catch the first Pokemon each route we encounter. We're going to swap it out for an egg. And then what we're going to do after that is we are going to use that uh, ice type Pokemon throughout the place. You guys are going to nickname the eggs you send me and we'll be ready to rock and roll. So we're going to start things off here. We got Froakie versus Chespin to be our first little battle here. And we shouldn't have any issues destroying Shauna's Froakie here. But the Pokemon I'm going to be accepting are going to be, and I'll have this written down on the form that you have to fill out later. So don't worry about that. But it's going to be Seal, Shelter, Smoochum, Lapras, Sneasel, Swinub, Delibird, Snow Runt, Sfeel, Snover, Eevee, because it does evolve into Glaceon, Rotom, because it does have an ice form, which I can change in Lumios, Vanillite, Cubchu, Cryogonal, Amora, Bergmite, and last but not least, Cast Form. And I know Cast Form might be kind of weird. Why does Cast Form count? Well, the rule that we're going to have with Cast Form is if I do happen to get a Cast Form at some point, once it learns the move Hail, it has to use the move Hail or Hail has to be up in battle before it can do anything else. So it does have a little bit of a cripple, but it's a little bit unique, right? I figured I'd throw it in there because it is the weather Pokemon. It'll give us something a little bit more unique because it is ice type once Hail is up with its ability. So I figured that was fair. You guys voted on Twitter. You guys said it was fair too. So I think that's all we need to do here. We have our first Pokemon, the Chespin, which again, I will be trading out for the egg. So those are all the Pokemon that you can send. I might have, I think I got everything. So if there's any other ice types that I might have missed, obviously uh, legendaries don't count because you can't breed for them. You guys are going to go and you're going to breed an egg for me, right? You can make it competitive. You can make it whatever. You can Masuda method and try to see if you maybe can get a shiny. The one thing I ask is that you get it as close to hatching as possible. If you don't want to breed the egg and you have your little fancy generating programs, you want to generate an egg. I'm not stopping you. Just don't tell me about it. I just want it to be a legitimate Pokemon when it hatches. That's all I care about. And that's fine with me. So do whatever you want. I'm not going to just don't tell me any difference. So I don't know any different, whatever. Um, the other thing is you're going to include the nickname to me. What I'm going to do, guys, is there's going to be a document that you can fill out. It takes probably a minute to fill out. It's really easy. You just type in your friend code, the nickname, what your in-game name is, um, whether your Pokemon is it meets the requirements, etc., etc. Really easy to do. You guys shouldn't have any issues. Excuse me. You shouldn't have any issues with that. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a password at the end of this episode, and you're going to use that password in the form. So the form is going to be released... So today, well, today's Sunday, but the day this video is going up is going to be Monday, uh, September 7th. And you guys are going to, uh, uh, basically, we're going to do the trading from 7 p.m. on Monday, the 7th, to 9 p.m. That window, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is going to be the time window in which I'm going to be trading with you guys. So it's a two-hour window. I tried to pick a time that worked best for me and also was kind of fair for as many people as possible. I understand that's pretty late in, in Europe, so I apologize for that. It's also really early in Australia and all that stuff. It's impossible to come up with a time zone that works for everyone. So, by the way, this encounter doesn't count because I, I don't have Pokeballs and it's always a Pidgey, so uh, we'll skip this encounter. I have to get Pokeballs first, then I'll catch the first Pokemon, and then we're good to go. So, um, there's all that stuff, but let me run from this thing because it doesn't matter. And what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, 7 to 9 p.m. At 7 o'clock, I'm going to hop on my Twitter. My Twitter link is in the description. It's adrive underscore TK. At 7 o'clock, I'm going to hop on Twitter and I'm going to post the link to the document. You guys are going to go to the document. It's a Google Docs. And all you have to do is fill out the form and you're going to have to put the password in that you get from this episode. Just so I know that you watch the episode and all that good stuff. Obviously, you have to get your egg ready. So you'll have a few hours to get your egg ready uh, before it's probably going to, you'll probably have about four or five hours to get your egg ready from the time that this video comes out and get it as close to hatching as possible. If you could, I really appreciate that. It saves me a little bit of time. You'll just fill out the form. Put in the password, and then I'm going to be randomly selecting people from that form. I'll hit you up on Twitter uh, and say, hey, you know what? I picked your egg. Good to go. Let's trade. Ready to rock. Simple as that. And then I'll trade for your egg. It'll go in the PC, and then whenever I catch a new Pokemon from a new route, I'll swap it out with the PC Pokemon. I'll be good to go. I'll have my Ice Type Pokemon. We'll hash it on the episode. I'll name it and shout you out and all that good stuff. We're ready to rock and roll. And that's that. So it should be pretty simple. I think I figured out a way that was going to be the most effective for everyone or as best as I could. I was trying to figure out the most organized way to accept eggs and all that stuff. And it's kind of hard to come up with the best way to do it because there's there's so many different people who are going to want to send eggs. And, and that's another thing, too. It's not like this is a software I'm using. I'm actually playing on a legitimate copy of the game. I have a DS in my hands. You can't see it because it's below the screen, but I'm 
I'm playing on a DS with my hands on stuff, so I have to actually physically trade for all the Pokemon. So I'm probably only going to accept about 30 to 40 eggs. So I do apologize if for some reason your egg is not picked. Please don't be mad at me. Please don't hate a drive, whatever. I'm going to do my best to be as fair as possible to pick the eggs that I pick. And, you know, I wish you guys all the best of luck. Again, if your egg does not get picked, please don't be mad at me. I'm so sorry. Like, I wish I could pick everyone's eggs. But, unfortunately, because of the way I do this egg lock, I, I can't possibly get an egg from every single person. And also, the other thing is, I don't want to have you guys... You know, I don't want to get your egg and then everyone's like super hyped that their eggs can get hatched and then I have like 10 million eggs in my PC and then I never even pick your egg. You know, that's kind of not cool either because I want to be able to hatch all your eggs and stuff like that. And then anything I don't get to will hatch at the end with a little hatching episode kind of like I did with the mono bug egg lock. So we're going to catch our first Pokemon that we encounter, which is the Fletchling. Now, now what I'm going to do is I have a couple friends. Uh, I say friends because they're some of my pals. They actually help me out on my Twitch stream, some of my moderators. And they have done the uh, wonderful thing of getting these eggs ready for me already. So I don't know what's in them, but they do have two eggs for me already. Uh, two different people with one egg each. And I'm going to try for those eggs right now and we're gonna be able to kick off the playthrough right off the bat and, and we're gonna be able to actually play through some of the game now on episode one because otherwise I don't have any eggs right we still have to get all the eggs but I'll have two to start the playthrough off so I'm gonna cut the video right here and I'm gonna grab those eggs and then or I'm gonna grab one of the eggs hatch it and then I'll grab the other egg and hatch it and all that good stuff so let's do that and we'll keep it rolling all right guys so here we are we're gonna hatch our first egg of the playthrough of the Nuzlocke is actually coming from my friend Helen, who goes by Dad Ryder Schneider, and the nickname is gonna be Oh Booey, which is kind of a pun on Oh Boy, and I think it's gonna be a seal or a sfeel because it's like a buoy type Pokemon, so I'm thinking seal or sfeel. We'll see. It's a Lapras! Oh my god, talk about the power! We got a Lapras kicking off things right here. Ooh, oh my god, dude. That is like, I almost feel like I'm cheating right now. This thing is too powerful. So we're gonna name it Obui, as we know. O-B-U-O-Y, I think I spelled that right. Let me just double check. Oh, Bowie, that's going to be our first Pokemon, which is a nice Lapras coming in from Helen. So thank you, Helen, for sending over this egg. And let's take a look at it. It's supposed to be... Oh, thanks for the hatchy powers, guys. Um, It's supposed to be level three, So, because uh, that's what the Fletchling was. So I, one thing I didn't do in my mono bug egg lock that I'm fixing in this one is I actually went and got some rare candies, as you can see here. So these rare candies are only going to be used to level up my Pokemon to the appropriate level of the Pokemon that they're replacing from, you know, the whole swapping the egg thing. And it's a Lapras, we already know. It's got shell armor, uh, modest nature, and it does have freeze dry, sing, all sorts of good stuff. This thing is absolutely powerful. I'm excited for this thing. Now I gotta go swap my chest spin out, so let me go grab someone to trade with really quick. And I'm gonna swap my chest spin out, and uh, we'll make things happen with our second ice Pokemon. Alright guys, so my good buddy Omar, who also is uh, one of the moderators of my stream, decided to send me this Pokemon as well. The nickname is going to be Santa Claus, so I'm going to assume we got a nice little deli bird coming in here, our little Santa, a little package holding friend here, and it is going to... Never mind, it's a Sneasel! So we got so much power, man. A Lapras and a Sneasel to kick things off. How awesome is that? I get to start my game off with a Lapras and a Sneasel, and we have to name this thing Santa... Uh, how do they spell it? Santa Claus. C-L-A-W-S. Santa Claus. Let me make sure I got that right. Santa Claus the Sneasel it is. So, oh, Bowie and Santa Claus the Sneasel are going to be joined on our party. We got to get this thing leveled up to level six, which is where our chestman was. And we can jump right into things here, guys, which I'm really excited about because, you know, most of the time uh, I would have to, like, not be able to continue the game until we got through the, you know, until I got all the eggs and stuff. But because of the way we just did things and I was able to get a few of my good pals to send me the eggs ahead of time, that works out really well in our favor because we're able to get these Pokemon and we're able to get ready to rock. Maybe we can jump right into the playthrough here. So uh, I want to take a moment here as well to give a nice little shout out. Uh, their links will be in the description for the entire time. But I want to shout out uh, Cone or Light Designs, Light Graphics, Cone Graphics, uh, KG, whatever you want to call them, for making this beautiful layout. He also made... Um, he made this whole layout, he did the whole nine, and it looks really awesome in my opinion. And then I want to shout out my homie Hydros, who made the intro for this playthrough as well. Uh, he did a really good job with that, so hope you guys go, if you're looking for designs and you want to commission some really cool designers to do some work for you guys, feel free to check out their content uh, and their links in the description. I'll drop like their Twitter links or something like that, and you guys can check them out as well. Uh, they do a great job. Oh my gosh, that damage. That was a crit, but that did a tremendous amount 
Um, and, and and yeah, so good, good to give them a moment, you know, just check them out and stuff like that. And uh, I think for the rest of the episode, I want to bring up one other thing too, and then we'll kind of go through the forest. We'll try to get through the forest, and then I'm gonna, you know, recap all the rules on how to send eggs, and I'll give you guys the password at the very end. So this is kind of a funky episode. Do I want to learn mist? No, I'm gonna probably pass on mist. Uh, this is kind of a funky episode, obviously, but we're trying to jump into things as easy as possible. But I'm really hyped for episode two as well, so because we'll have all of our our eggs and stuff in the PC and stuff, so all that good stuff. But uh, if you guys could do me the favor, I think I mentioned that uh, you know this is gonna be a really cool series where we spend a lot of time not talking about the gameplay, all that stuff. On the last LP I did, that was the mono bug egg lock. The last mono playthrough I did, you guys turned up something crazy. I mean, every episode I uploaded, you guys were really supporting, really showing your love. And I, I want to ask you this, and I know a lot of Pokemon YouTubers and a lot of people, myself included, always start their videos off by saying, "Hey, if you guys are hyped, if you like this, whatever it is, you know, can you show your love on the like button down below?" And I'm gonna ask you guys because usually most people watch episode one and I hope you guys are excited for episode two first of all if you have any constructive criticism or anything like that to make this playthrough better please let me know guys I'm a youtuber I'm a twitch streamer I'm still learning though guys uh, it's a learning experience I want to get better at this I want to make my playthroughs more entertaining I want to be a better content provider because I enjoy doing this I love doing this and I want this stuff to be more entertaining for you so always always please feel free to let me know what your thoughts are I do actually read my comments I might not respond to every single person but I do read all my comments so just remember that but I'm gonna ask you guys uh, you know a drive to my friends here watching if any of you guys could do me the super duper favor of supporting this series as best you can and all that really means is if you guys you know if you have the time to watch the episode awesome and I hope you enjoy it if you have the, the moment if you could take the moment the spare minute there or so to just click that like button for me it really goes a long way youtubers don't make you know money off of likes but what it does do is it increases the chances that other people might find this video one day and watch it and enjoy it and maybe find some of my other content and like it so obviously you're watching this video and you got this far into it you, you you're liking what you see to some extent and I thank you guys so much for supporting uh, I really enjoy doing YouTube and stuff and 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 while I probably could focus my time entirely on Twitch which is where you know it's kind of how I started was on Twitch in terms of this whole Pokemon thing I still love doing YouTube I still love doing commentating things off stream without an audience as much as I love Twitch there's something special about YouTube as well so I kind of like doing both and I want to continue to do both and, and and any support that you guys can give me by simply you know commenting or tweeting out the video or saying hey you know what you watch it you, you're a big fan of Pokemon you say to your friend in school or whatever it is you should check out this playthrough this is a really cool playthrough uh, this guy a drive he's doing a mono ice egg lock have you ever seen anyone do that you know he's gonna be showcasing some of these really cool ice types that you otherwise probably wouldn't see in a playthrough any of that stuff I don't know if I'm coming off as being cheesy please don't take it that way I'm just you know asking you guys as, as my friends and, and my supporters to, to help me out and and I, should, I, I probably don't even have to because you guys always seem to show your love and your support on the videos So thank you for that. It goes a really long way, and I know it, it's so over Bearing because everyone in the community asks and says hey, can you like this video? Hey, can you do this and this and this and I get it But it's just a little little favor that I'm asking so without all that said we'll get out of that We'll just jump right into the content here again so we got to take out these couple Pokemon in the forest. We're gonna get through this forest, and then we're gonna wrap things up. And I'll give you guys another recap on how everything's gonna go in terms of how you're gonna send your eggs, uh, all that good stuff. So, and then again, if you if you get picked and your egg is chosen, that'd be awesome. You'll be featured in the playthrough, and hopefully your Pokemon will make it. Because if any time, point in time, one of my Pokemon faints, we have to release it. So if Oh Buoy doesn't make it, somehow dies to like some crazy crit from a Amora. I really hope I didn't just like predict the the future right now. Uh, you know, if if we face the second gym leader, Mora crits me and kills Obui. Well, Obui's gone from the playthrough, so uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a high high stakes playthrough. It's gonna be interesting. We will be faced with the decision of turning on or off the experience share, which we'll probably run into in an episode or two. I'll have to decide whether or not I'm gonna use an experience share or not. I'm leaning towards no, at least to start, and we'll see how things go. What Pokeball is this thing even in? I have no idea. It's pretty cool, though. Uh, we'll we'll kind of figure out what we're going to do in terms of the experience here. I do want a challenge, but I also don't want to have to spend an exorbitant amount of time trying to grind and things like that because... Um, oh, she gives me another Pokeball. Thank you, friend. Thank you, Serana. Um, Serena, Serana, something like that. Um, you know, I don't want to spend a crazy amount of time grinding, but I do plan on being pretty completion about it, taking on most of the trainers and things like that. So, I actually have a Pikachu here. I'm going to try to stay in with Bowie instead of switching into Sneasel because I do think, or Santa Claus, I think Bowie can probably take on a Pikachu even though we're same level. Pikachu's not really that strong. 
Well, it's actually not bad, but Bowie is so bulky. I mean, it's it's one of the it's actually a really bulky Pokemon for this stage of the game. I mean, we shouldn't have any issues. I'd imagine Lapras can compare to Pokemon about you know probably as many as three to five levels above it. So um, we shouldn't have any. Yeah, freeze dry. Just gonna destroy this thing. So get out of my house, Pikachu. Get out of my face. Uh, I just realized actually as well that I totally butchered my encounter for the forest. I was supposed to catch the first Pokemon I encountered, and somehow I managed to fail to do that. So let's just pretend, well, I butchered it. So there's that. Uh, my apologies for that. I'm sure someone was like, oh my god, A Drive, you just butchered that. Well, I, sorry, I got distracted because this whole egg thing and stuff like that, so I never caught the first Pokemon. So that's one less, but well, whatever. On the next episode, we have uh, there's two new routes that we'll be able to access as well, and we'll actually be able to get two new Pokemon. Should we should have a team of four Pokemon heading into the first gym if things are adding up properly in my head. I think we're gonna be good because you get the route right out to the forest, then you get another route which is right off to the side of the the first town, the Santa Loon city or whatever, and we should be good. So we'll have plenty of Pokemon. Five Pokemon is a lot, so we'll have plenty of Pokemon. And uh, we'll do, we will count gifts, so if I get a gift Pokemon or whatever, I will count that. I'll be able to swap that for an egg as well. I want to try to get as many of the eggs hatched as possible and integrate them into the playthrough as best as we can. And uh, I'll probably be randomly choosing the eggs and stuff like that. So I might as well take this time to kind of recap. And I apologize if it's kind of a weird episode again because it's kind of like the introductory episode and there's a lot of housekeeping to do and, and like little things to address. So again, if you want to send your egg, uh, you know, you'll, you're fully welcome to send your egg, you're welcome to breed up an egg, it's gotta be a nice type Pokemon, I did mention the Pokemon that are, uh, available, uh, that you can send, uh, you could just look online and see what ice type Pokemon there are, as long as it evolves into an ice type Pokemon account, so Seal and, and, uh, Shelder both count, both of those Pokemon are really cool, I would love to use, like, things like Cloyster and stuff, that'd be sick, uh, so those do count, I'm also counting Eevee as well, cause it does evolve into Glaceon, Rotom does count as well, because it does have its refrigerator form, which is ice type, and I'm gonna count Cast form as well, which is kind of weird, but, the rule with cast form is I will have to use hail or hail has to be in the air for cast form to be able to attack and use any other moves kind of a unique little playthrough idea but I thought cast form is another Pokemon that you never see so I thought it'd be kind of cool to integrate the way it's going to work is this episode is going up on Monday September 7th that's when this episode will be uploaded and I'll be accepting eggs from you guys uh, from 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time that night a few hours after the episode goes up until 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time that's my trading window and what you're gonna have to do is if you want to trade with me you have to follow me on Twitter which is gonna be of course in the description below a drive underscore TK you're gonna go to my Twitter and at exactly 7 o'clock or maybe 655 but probably around exactly 7 o'clock let's actually say 655 just because it'll be a couple minutes earlier at 7 o'clock whatever it's gonna be I'm gonna tweet out a link to a Google document you're gonna go to that Google document and you're gonna fill out the information it's really easy and you're gonna have to include the password which I'll say here shortly you fill out that document you pop the password in and you're good to go I'm gonna you know go through that document I'm gonna pick 30 ish people and I'm gonna send you a message on Twitter just a tweet and say hey if you're ready I got you added you have to have me added I'm gonna be using my extra DS though so keep that in mind the friend code is gonna be on that document as well so just look at the document all the information is there the Pokemon you can include you have to put your in-game name what nickname you want uh, you know uh, my friend codes there so you leave your friend code and then you'll put in the password as well and all that good stuff and then you'll be able to send me your eggs uh, if I pick you, I'll tweet to you, you, I'll send you the eggs. The eggs will go on my PC, and then actually one of the cool things is, uh, you know, once we get the Pokemon in each route, we'll be swapping them out for the PC eggs, and we'll be hatching them, and hopefully your Ice-type Pokemon will be chosen. Uh, again, I just want to point out, I'm unable to select every single person's egg, unfortunately, because I'm actually physically trading for each of the eggs. It is an actual DS that I'm playing on, and I have to actually trade every single person, one Pokemon at a time. So keep that in mind, I'm not, it's going to be kind of a little challenging for me to get all those, you know, eggs and stuff. So I'm only going to grab like 30 or so, the amount I think that we need to actually, uh, be able to play through the game with and stuff like that. So just keep all that in mind, it's, it's, I'll do my best to get as many as, you, as I can. But uh, I'm going to leave you guys with the password here because I think we're about to, you know, we just finished up Santa Loon Forest and now we're going to head our way over to, oh, she's going to tell us the 10 trainer tips that every trainer needs to know. I really don't care about that. I really don't. I think I'm going to be all right. But we do have to go to the gym next. We got through the forest. I think we're good to go. So the password that you're going to need to leave in that document, if you spell it wrong, it's fine. Just try to get as close as you can. It is Ice Ice Glalie. Dum, 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 ice Ice Glalie. So the password is Ice Ice Glalie, three words, Ice Ice Glalie, you don't have to put a space, I don't care, just make sure that's in the document, if you don't have the password, then your entry doesn't count, so keep that in mind, and I think that is all we need to do for this episode, guys, I think we finally wrapped things up here, 
Uh, I, again, one more time, I apologize. It's kind of jumbled and all sorts of crazy, but I think we're good to go. I think I covered everything I needed to. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget our question of the, uh, question of the day. And if you guys are hyped, I want to see 2,000 likes on this episode, guys. I know you can do it. I know the A-Drive army can turn up. And that is going to be it. My name is Dan. I also go by A-Drive. You guys stay cold. I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace.